Hey family, can we talk? <laughs> Let's just have a session, okay? A quick session. And this is just gonna be a talk about getting your, punching up your daily food, menu, what you cooking at home. This is something I've been wanting to talk about for some time. And so I just wanted to bring it out to you guys. So what I wanna talk about is punching up the flavor to your dishes, okay? Using something that a lot of our parents used that sometimes they talk about, sometimes they don't. So I thought I'd talk about it. These things. These things. These things. Things like this. <laughs> And it's just bouillon powders. So let me tell you, bouillon, you can get it in cubes. Some some people call them Maggie cubes. Uh, they have those out there. Uh, the Wilders cubes. Um, but one of the things that I noticed, because I shop in a lot of different stores, one of the stores in particular is Mi Pueblo. And it is a Hispanic grocery store. And I noticed that they carry a lot of Nor loose uh, seasoning. And this is beef bouillon flavor. I have chicken um, and it has a green top to it. So typically um, when you are cooking and you're cooking something that has beef in it, put you a little bit of this in there. It's gonna punch up that already beef flavor. And then you can lessen your sodium intake so you don't have to use a lot of salt because this is packed with flavor. This I found, it is the tomato de pollo. So it is a tomato bouillon with chicken flavor. So it is a red, it has a red hue. Let me sh shake some out. As you can see that right there, you see it has a red hue. But I use this in multiple dishes, not just with um, chicken because it is a chicken bouillon, but I also use it in my shrimp and fish dishes as well. But let me tell you something. If you want to increase your seafood flavor or your shrimp flavor, try shrimp bouillon. And it is so good and it punches up your shrimp dishes. And even like if you want to make a creamy soup, like a, um, a salmon, I've made salmon and potato soup. Um, you can add this to the soup and it just gives it a, just a beautiful seafood flavor. They also have vegetable bouillon. I don't have any of that to show you right now, but vegetable bouillon is another one. So this is one, the taste uh, better than bouillons are really good. These, I've taken this out of the refrigerator. Once you open these, you need to put a, keep them in your refrigerator, but they're like a paste. They're an intense paste. So this one is made with lobster and spices. And this, in, this one is made with seasoned mushrooms. Even if you are vegan um, and you want to punch up your veggie, say for instance, you are doing some zucchini and squash and mushrooms, put you a little bit of this in here, the seasoned mushroom bouillon. When I tell you, it takes it to another level. It is absolutely delicious. And I'm not trying to advertise for them. I'm just trying to help when you are in that kitchen and somebody's like, oh, that tastes so good. You put in a little bit of this. If you don't have mushrooms, you can add a little bit of this to give you the mushroom flavor without the mushroom. I know people who don't like mushroom texture. So these are really, really good. I actually added this to um, the lobster and spices to a, um, a paella that I made. Really, really good, okay? Now this, this is... Um, a uh, soup base and it is beef flavored as you can see pho soup base and i got this from a asian store that is um near me that i shop at and when you want to like pick up on those flavors 
talk to the folks at the store. They will tell you. Now, I am a, I love pho, all right? I've made pho. I posted uh, my pho recipe and I made it with starting with bouillon. But when I found out they have the pho base, I just go, went and bought it. And you just scoop out what you need. And it has all of those flavorings of the pho that you need to make it happen. Um, let me see. So some of the ingredients in, in pho that takes all day to make that you got in a, a flavor pouch is salt, sugar, beef fat, dry beef stock, um, and spices. Fish sauce. Uh, and, and fish sauce uh, powder, which you know is fermented anchovies and salt. So I keep fish sauce in the refrigerator, but for those who don't have it, just drop your spoons in here. Follow. If you want to follow the instructions, I'm the type of person, I'm going to taste what I cook. So I'm going to put it in and taste it and see if I need some more. So this is really, really good. Another secret that I have found that has punched up a lot of my dishes is tamarind soup mix. You ever go out and you taste like this twangy, yet sweet, like yet salty, savory. You can't put your finger on it, but it's delicious. Sometimes it's tamarind. And tamarind soup mix, it is like this love song of like, twang and i'm i love a good twang okay i am not one of those people who don't like vinegar i love balsamic vinegar i like any kind of vinegar this right here was it is the bomb and i i have added it too as you can see here there's a, a shrimp soup on the front of here but i've added it to my spaghetti sauce people like that What's in this big in this house? Tamarind soup mix. I don't use, you don't have to use a lot of it. So this one packet may last me for a while because I'm just using a little bit in it to twang it up. My sausage rustica, it's on my YouTube. You saw me use this. Those are some of the things that I just wanted to show you guys. I just wanted to sit down for a minute and let you know that I use um, just to take my cooking up a notch or make it a little bit more because sometimes when you make a dish like spaghetti I, i'll take that for an in, instance spaghetti to me tastes better the next day but if you put just a little bit of this in there you getting that punch of flavor on the first day and you ain't got to wait till the next day sometimes stews and stuff take a long time to cook like pho you can shorten your time frame and have a delicious pho uh, broth ready for your noodles and your whatever um, meat or non meat that you want to choose with using a pho base. So I just, you know, it's all about making it easy, quick, and delicious. And I just wanted to come in and let you all know what I use when I'm in the kitchen to punch up those flavors. So I hope this helps you. I just, I've been thinking about doing a bouillon like sit down with y'all for a while now and since i had time i'm like why not let me go and get it done i hope it helps you all so if you like my channel you like what you're seeing i know i'm not uh, i haven't been super consistent but i'm getting back on target uh just you know like comment share and subscribe i'm here we in this thing together okay and listen let's just it's it's about easy and using what you got so when you go to the store and you you grabbing up, this can last you for a long time and you don't have to repeat buy it, you know. So that's just some of the tricks that I use. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Let's keep going with our cooking journey together and let's make it easy. We help, and help us one to the other, okay? Peace, love, and I hope you all have a, an amazing day.